Hi everyone, it's Maggie and I'm here with a project share. This is um, a doily mini album that I made for uh, Olivia for her birthday and I just wanted to share it with you. This is how it looks. I used a lot of um, trims in that and I used seam binding to close it up and on the side there I put these are actually earrings and I just uh, put them through one of the doilies so let me um, I can't explain every detail but I can kind of show you the highlights alright so the cover um, I used the series of images that Jean Rag had sent me during my um, my image challenge, and I just loved them. I'm not sure we um, Sue. Hi, Sue had asked me um, if I could find out where the images came from, and we can't find out yet. But hopefully, someone someone will recognize them. Um, they're very, you know, Victorian. I mean, I think they might have been an illustration in a, um, you know, a book, maybe a novel about um, Victorian times, but I'm not positive. So anyways, um, on this doily book, I used a lot of um, vintage curtain appliques that I had cut out. And um, I used this trim to go around the image and then these here are from a curtain that I had cut out individually and then I added small pearls to. And there's, on this one, I added several um, doilies to build up the page. And then on the side here, there's fl these flower appliques and I added pearls to the middle of that. And on the top um, trim here, I added some flower centers and a, a pearl center that I got off of a, a wedding gown. And then you can see underneath there's several layers. There's this dangle one that I put the little um, pink uh, flowers. There's this one. So there's three layers just on this side of the page. And then when you open it up, this first page is actually a pocket and you can see the pocket there and these are more um, here's a applique off of a curtain and I added a little rose to it this piece here uh, Jean Rag sent to me during our our swap and um, I added little clay flowers to the top of that and then uh, after the doilies this is a, a curtain piece. This is a curtain piece that I added clay flowers to. This is a piece off of a curtain. And um, then you have the rhinestone and pearl bow. And then underneath, here's another applique. And I added a pearl and rhinestone piece to that. And then there's this dangle trim and this embroidered trim here. And I love how this page came out. Okay, now here's another one of those images. And I added at least three or four doilies on um, on each one because I wanted these pages to be, um, you know, pretty well solid and built up. But anyways, I used this trim to go around uh, most of the image. And then these are all except for this um, silver one with the rhinestone in the middle of it. This was an applique I bought on, I think it was on Zibit. And this is a um, curtain applique. And then here's a trim here and another dangle trim there and another dangle trim there. So this one I added one, two, three trims and then the applique and then here's another um, trim piece here this 
this one here, this long dangle piece, and I added this acrylic piece on top of it, but underneath the um, the curtain applique, and then I added two of the larger clay flowers. Okay, here's the middle two pages. I love all these images too. I wish I I did know where they came from because I would I would do more than one book with these. Um, anyway, um, this is an applique piece. It wasn't from a curtain, but um, I used it to kind of cover the bottom. Um, this little piece here. This is um, also a trim, and then underneath there's a few different doilies, and then here's the trims on the bottom. I added little pieces from a um, from from a trim that had uh, purple and green, and then here's another trim, and another trim. So there's one, two, three trims on this one. So that's that page. And then here's the other page. And on this one, I used this trim here. I think um, Trisha, yeah, Trisha, a little shabby chic. Um, sent me this trim and she sent me enough of it I was able to make three different rows um, as a frame for it and I think I still have some left but I just loved it and I wanted to frame one of the photos but I wanted to make it more substantial so I used um, three pieces um, this is another piece of this applique trim over here and I might have gotten this from Julie, the Thrifty Paper Garden. Um, these trims here, or appliques, sorry. I added some green and um, pink and purple, some lavender flowers. Here's another um, curtain applique that I added pearls and some um, acrylic flowers with the rhinestones in the middle. Here's um, one of those daisy appliques and one of the um, the dangle flowers. I added the pearl and rhinestone piece to that. So that takes care of this page. And then this is the flower page. I did this a little different. Usually I make a large flower and, sorry about that, and add it, but I wanted to do something a little different. So I took a doily with one of those little flowers in the middle and I put that on top of the other doilies and then I added this piece um, rhinestone and flat back pearl piece that I put together and then I added these appliques which I think might have come from Virginia uh, 1468 I hope I'm getting it right I hate to name names and then be wrong but I'm pretty sure that she sent me these and so I added those three along the side and then I added these embroidered flower and um, little leaf pieces and I added some more of the um, acrylic flower and um, rhinestone appliques and then I just added more dangles. I added two sets of dangles to that one. And then the last page is another um, image page and I took this um, it's one of those like collar, choker collars, I call them. Sometimes I make them into necklaces, but I added that to the top and then I added this piece here and some of the acrylic flowers here. Uh, I added little doilies that I cut in half and then little tiny um, flowers from a curtain with the acrylic, uh, with the um, clay flowers. And then I added this flower piece that I had um, green tea dyed and I used this um, flower center in the middle and I added the, the, um, these aren't the acrylic ones, well they're acrylic but uh, let's see, I think I have one. There are these pieces here that I added the little on this one I added a little pearl to it and you can see on the back it's got a little bit of a, a bump on it but on this one I added rhinestones and then I added purple or lavender 
um, flat backs on this one and then there's one, two, three, three sets of dangles on that one. So that's that page and then on the back I kept it very simple. Um, I added my doilies. There's one. I added this doily on the back and then this is another um, curtain piece that I just cut out and I add the different I add the appliques together to make it like a larger piece and then I added a larger clay flower here and then the smaller clay flowers on the bottom and a couple of the acrylic or rhinestone flowers and then as I said for the for the binding I just wove um, three different pieces of um, seam binding in between each doily to hold them together and I added the um, the earrings in between one set of them actually there's four there's four um, ties seam binding ties so that's it that's the doily album for Olivia um, if you'd like leave me a comment let me know what you think I do like how this came out. Um, I did go for more Victorian rather than shabby chic because of the images, obviously. But um, I did have fun making it, and I just hope Olivia likes it. So thanks for watching, everyone, and I'll see you again soon with another project share. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.